Jesus Freak 777, or Anthony as he calls himself, thinks that his videos are controversial. And of course, he is making a quite fundamental mistake here. The thing is, his videos do provoke reactions. But it's not because those videos are controversial, not in the least. They are about as uncontroversial as you can get. He clearly toes the line all the way. And how can that ever be controversial? No, the problem with Anthony's videos is that they would insult the intelligence of just about any possible viewer. And I'm not just talking about atheists here. I am talking about Christians. Anthony's level of stupidity is a clear insult to the intelligence of any Christian who has the misfortune of coming across one of his videos. In his latest video, where he challenges atheists to come up with ten commandments of their own that would be acceptable to all atheists, more about that later, in, his, in that video he first of all tells us that we all are insistent on wallowing in sin, the usual Christian nonsense statement there, but he also tells us that the ten Christian commandments would greatly enhance anybody's life in a secular context. Now I know for a fact that no intelligent Christian will in fact agree with that statement. Why not? Because intelligence Christians, and thankfully the majority of Christians, do have a level of intelligence. Most intelligent Christians realize that their own four commandments deal very specifically, especially the first four of them, deal very specifically about how Christians should behave with regard to their own God. And they accept that the moment you go outside Christianity, you can no longer apply those four first commandments to anybody. And I'm not just talking about atheists, obviously, I am also talking about any other religious person. It doesn't apply to Buddhists, it doesn't apply to Muslims, it doesn't apply to Hindus, and it doesn't apply to agnostics and atheists. To none of those people, the first four commandments make any sense, nor can they enhance their lives in any possible way. And that, the fact that Anthony is simply ignoring that, is an insult to, first of all, everybody outside the Christian religion, but also to Christians, because it makes their religious belief meaningless. If that were to apply to everybody outside Christianity as much as it applied to them. Then, he asks us, he asks atheists to come up with commandments that all atheists would agree with. Now, he asks us for ten commandments. What is this fascination with lists? that so many people seem to have. Do, do you think that if you can tick off ten separate items that you have somehow achieved something significant? Because I certainly don't think so. Reality is a lot more complicated and reality does not lend itself to be enumerated so easily in ten simple bullet points. Sorry, that is not how reality works. But having said that, there is a lot more wrong with what he's asking for in the first place. Because for any atheist or any free-thinking person to think that they can devise a list of rule that could genuinely be applicable to all other human beings is betrays a level of arrogance that can only be displayed by a fundamentalist. And it speaks volumes about Anthony's total inability to put himself in another person's position that he 
cannot see this. And that aside, it is also, of course, a well-known fact that this has been explained to him on several previous occasions. So obviously, on all those occasions, what this clearly shows is that Anthony, on all those previous occasions where this has been explained to him, purposely did not listen. I know from the way he talks to the camera and the way he responds that he's not deaf and I know he has no trouble reading comments. So it's not conceivable that the message could not get through to him. So the only option that is then left is that he's deliberately blocking the message. Now Anthony, the, the problem with that attitude is that your refusal to take on board the things that people have explained to you over and over and over and over and over and over again does not constitute an invalidation of what they're telling you. All it achieves is it makes you look ignorant and stubborn and frankly stupid. And that of course cannot be a good thing. Sorry, no matter how much you think you are right, the fact that you are unable to understand, or unwilling rather, to understand what people are telling you about themselves says an awful lot about you and not about other people, atheists or otherwise. So the person who has actually got a problem here is you, Anthony. You have got a problem that you cannot seem to be able to allow another person to validate their own lives according to their own ideas, their own attitudes to life, their own desires, their own goals, their own beliefs and their own will. Now that of course may sound perfectly reasonable to you thinking as you do that a God has handed down commandments telling us how we should live but it is not acceptable to anybody else. And again I am not talking about atheists here. I am talking about anybody who is not a Christian or even more specific who doesn't subscribe to the same little fundamentalist clique and its particular set of dogma that you subscribe to. Sorry, that is not going to wash. So when it comes to commandments, we atheists know that we are in no position to impose on other people a set of commandments that makes sense to us only. We know as atheists and many other people, including a large number of Christians, understand this as well, that a true level of morality is based on an ability to put yourself in another person's position to understand how your actions impact on that other person, to realize or to have some sort of an inkling as to what, how what you do makes another person feel, to feel guilty about that, to feel another person's pain, to feel what another person feels when they're the um, the target of your behavior to have some sort of an ability to put yourself in their position and imagine what it's like to be at the receiving end of your behavior and then to respond accordingly, accordingly and adjust your behavior accordingly. That is not something, Anthony, no matter how much you would desire this to be true, that is not something that you can simply canonize in a 10 point bullet list. Nor is it anybody's position to do this for anybody else. So with regards to 10 commandments I certainly would not ever be so arrogant as to present a list of 10 commandments that I would consider other people should be following. When it comes to rules of behavior, I would engage with other people, try and understand how they feel, 
and on the basis of a mutual understanding come to an agreement as to how we should behave towards each other. And on that basis, we can build a fairly consistent moral framework, but one that will always, always be subject to revision, always be subject to reconsideration and fine-tuning. It will never stop. But with regard to yourself, Anthony, I can come up with one rule that you should do well to follow for yourself. And that is this. When it comes to atheists and how they lead their lives and how they assign meaning to their own lives and how they behave in a moral context within the context of society and their behavior towards other people, what you need to do, Anthony, is mind your own business.